During the filming of Kid Galahad, the music artist Elvis Presley found himself enamored with his co-star Elizabeth Montgomery. Unbeknownst to many, Montgomery was married to Gig Young at the time. This classic film marked a significant moment in the music artist's career, but little did he know. It would also introduce him to a woman who would leave a lasting impression on his heart. The chemistry between Elvis Presley and Elizabeth Montgomery was palpable, making it difficult to ignore the spark that ignited between them. The film's production was filled with tension as the music artist navigated his feelings for his co-star, all while maintaining a professional demeanor on set. The story of Elvis Presley and Elizabeth Montgomery serves as a reminder of the complexities of love and the unpredictable nature of human connection. Prior to filming Kid Galahad, Elvis Presley had heard that actress Elizabeth Montgomery was interested in co-starring with him in Blue Hawaii. Montgomery, who later found fame as Samantha in the hit show Bewitched, had expressed her desire to work with the music artist. As a result, Elvis asked the studio to give her the role in the film. Blue Hawaii was released in 1961 and became a massive success, earning over $4 million at the box office. The film follows Elvis' character, Chad Gates, who returns home to Hawaii after serving in the army. He begins working at his father's pineapple plantation, but soon realizes that office life is not for him. Chad then decides to start his own tour business, taking tourists around the island and showing them the beauty of Hawaii. Elizabeth Montgomery plays the role of Abigail Prentice, a wealthy tourist who falls in love with Chad. Their chemistry on screen is undeniable, and it's easy to see why Elvis wanted her for the role. The film features some of Elvis' most popular songs, including Can't Help Falling in Love and Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii is a classic film that showcases Elvis' charm and charisma. The stunning Hawaiian landscapes and upbeat soundtrack make it a must-watch for any Elvis fan. Elizabeth Montgomery's performance is also noteworthy, and it's interesting to see her in a role before she became a household name as Samantha in Bewitched. In conclusion, Blue Hawaii is a classic film that features Elvis Presley at his best. The film's success can be attributed to the music artist charm, the beautiful Hawaiian setting, and the talented cast, including Elizabeth Montgomery. It's a film that continues to resonate with audiences today and is a testament to Elvis' enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. In an interview, Elvis Presley, the renowned music artist, expressed his admiration for actress Elizabeth Taylor, stating that he was envious of her husband Dan and would like to meet her if she were single. This revelation sparked a response from actress Lonnie Anderson, who jokingly stated that she too would like to date Elvis if she were single. Elvis Presley, also known as the King of Rock and Roll, was born on January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi. He began his music career in Memphis, Tennessee, and quickly rose to fame with his unique sound and captivating stage presence. His music, which blended elements of blues, country, and gospel, resonated with audiences and helped to shape the landscape of popular music. Throughout his career, Elvis released numerous hit songs, including Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and Jailhouse Rock. He also made a successful transition to film, appearing in movies such as Love Me Tender and Viva Las Vegas. His performances in these films showcased his versatility as an actor and further solidified his status as a cultural icon. Despite his success, Elvis remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his generosity and kindness, often going out of his way to help others. His impact on the music industry and popular culture is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of musicians and fans. In response to Elvis's statement about Elizabeth Taylor, Lonnie Anderson's playful comment highlights the music artist's enduring appeal and the admiration he continues to inspire in people. Whether through his music, films, or personal charm, Elvis Presley remains a captivating figure, leaving a mark on the world of entertainment that is sure to endure for years to come. Elvis Presley's co-star in the film Kid Galahad, Gig Young, was known to be quite jealous of the attention Elvis received from Young's wife, Montgomery. Montgomery would often visit her husband on set, and she and Elvis would chat. This would inevitably lead to Young flying into a jealous rage. During one particularly intense fit, Young even struck his wife, but Elvis was quick to intervene and stop him. Elvis was growing increasingly fed up with Young's behavior and expressed his frustration, stating that he was getting extremely tired of the situation and felt like it wasn't worth finishing the picture. 
Despite his frustrations, Elvis did continue to work on the film, but the tension on set was palpable. This episode is just one example of the challenges Elvis faced during his career. Despite the obstacles, he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to produce classic after classic. His impact on the music industry is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of musicians. Elvis Presley, the renowned music artist, was no stranger to the challenges of working in the film industry. During the filming of I Love You, Alice B. Toklas, he witnessed young actor Gig Young direct verbal abuse towards co-star Elizabeth Taylor. Despite his concern, Elvis chose to stay out of it, hoping that Taylor would find her way through the difficult situation. In addition to the tension on set, Elvis was also relieved when filming finally came to an end. The music artist had never been fond of working with Gig Young and was glad to put the experience behind him. It is said that Elvis personally never wanted to work with Young again, and it's not hard to see why. Despite the challenges of the film, Elvis Presley remained a consummate professional and continued to give his all to his craft. His fans will always cherish this classic film, despite the difficulties that arose during its production. The music artist's enduring legacy continues to resonate with audiences to this day, and his impact on the world of entertainment is truly remarkable. Elvis Presley, the renowned music artist, was no stranger to drama both on and off the screen. During the filming of Charo, rumors swirled about an alleged affair between Presley and his co-star, Inna Balin. Although these rumors were never confirmed, they were enough to drive a wedge between Presley and his wife, Priscilla. Soon after filming ended, the music artist packed his bags and left his wife, convinced she had been unfaithful with Presley. The couple's separation was a tragic end to a tumultuous relationship that had been plagued by Presley's infidelity and drug abuse. Interestingly, the actor who played the villain in Charo, Gig Young, also met a tragic end. Many years later, he shot and killed his fifth wife before turning the gun on himself. The shooting was a shocking and tragic end to a career that had once been filled with promise. The story of Elvis Presley and Gig Young serves as a reminder of the darker side of Hollywood and the toll that fame and fortune can take on even the most talented individuals. Despite their success, both men struggled with personal demons that ultimately led to their downfall. In the end, the legacy of Elvis Presley and Gig Young will always be intertwined with the films they made and the lives they led. Their stories will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come, serving as a cautionary tale about the dangers of fame and the importance of seeking help when needed. Elvis Presley, born on January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi, was the second of Gladys and Vernon Presley's twin sons. His twin brother, Jesse Guerin, was stillborn, leaving Elvis as a single child. Raised in a modest household, Elvis's family had a significant influence on his early life and musical development. His parents, particularly his mother, nurtured Elvis's love for music. Gladys Presley often sang to him, and she bought him his first guitar at the age of 11. Elvis's exposure to various musical styles, including gospel, country, and blues, in his childhood helped shape his unique sound. In Tupelo, Elvis attended the Assembly of God Church, where he was exposed to powerful gospel singing. These early experiences left a lasting impact on him and contributed to his signature fusion of different musical genres. At the age of 13, Elvis and his family moved to Memphis, Tennessee, where he was further exposed to various musical styles. Memphis's vibrant music scene, including the famous Beale Street, played a crucial role in Elvis's development as an artist. Elvis's early mentors included musicians and producers such as Sam Phillips, the founder of Sun Records, and guitarist Scotty Moore. These mentors recognized Elvis's potential and helped him refine his sound. Phillips, in particular, played a significant role in launching Elvis's career. He encouraged Elvis to embrace his unique style which blended country, rhythm, and blues in gospel music. This fusion would later become known as rock and roll. In 1954, Elvis recorded his first single, That's All Right, at Sun Records, which became a regional hit. This marked the beginning of his extraordinary musical journey, which would leave a lasting impact on the world of music. Elvis Presley's passion for music can be traced back to his early childhood, specifically when he received his first guitar at the age of 11. This moment marked a significant turn in his life, sparking a creative flame that would eventually set the world ablaze. 
Born in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1935, Elvis was always drawn to the allure of music. However, it was his devotion to the gospel songs he heard in church and the rhythm and blues tunes playing on the radio that truly captivated him. At the time, he was too poor to afford records, so he would tune into the radio, eagerly soaking up every note and melody. One pivotal experience that fueled his desire to pursue music as a career was witnessing the mesmerizing performance of African-American gospel singer Sister Rosetta Tharp in 1945. Enthralled by her powerful voice and electrifying guitar playing, Elvis was inspired to emulate her unique style. As a teenager, Elvis's dedication to music only intensified. He began performing at local events and, in 1953, recorded his first song, My Happiness, at Sun Records in Memphis, Tennessee. This moment served as a stepping stone, propelling him further into the world of music and paving the way for his groundbreaking career. Elvis's unyielding passion for music was evident in his relentless pursuit of perfection. He would spend countless hours practicing and refining his craft, always striving to push the boundaries of what was possible. Through his innovative blending of various musical styles, Elvis Presley left an indelible mark on the music industry, forever changing the landscape of popular music. Elvis Presley, born in 1935, was raised in a humble environment. His family struggled financially, often living in modest homes and relying on government assistance. Despite these hardships, Elvis's love for music remained unshaken. He turned to gospel, country, and R&B as his sources of inspiration. As a young man, Elvis faced skepticism from the music industry. Record labels dismissed him, claiming that his style was too different and wouldn't appeal to a wide audience. Unfazed by rejection, Elvis and his band performed in any venue that would have them, from county fairs to local clubs. Elvis's breakthrough came in 1954 when he signed with Sun Records. Sam Phillips, the label's founder, saw potential in Elvis's unique sound and energy. However, Sun Records lacked the resources to promote Elvis on a grand scale. In response, Elvis and his band promoted themselves, touring tirelessly and making appearances on local radio and television shows. Eventually, RCA Victor bought Elvis's contract from Sun Records in 1955, providing him with the opportunity to reach a broader audience. Despite the initial industry skepticism, Elvis's innovative fusion of various musical styles coupled with his charismatic stage presence, catapulted him to stardom. Through resilience and creative self-promotion, Elvis Presley overcame early financial struggles and industry skepticism, paving the way for a legendary music career. Elvis Presley, born in 1935, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout his career. In 1954, he recorded That's Alright, marking a significant turn in his career. Sam Phillips, the Sun Records producer, recalled, Elvis brought something new, something different. He was a white boy who could sing black. In 1956, Presley appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show, reaching a television audience of 60 million. After the performance, Sullivan noted, I wanted to say to Elvis's fan, folks, this is a real decent, fine boy. We've never had a pleasanter experience on our show with a big name. Presley's first film, Love Me Tender, released in 1956, was another pivotal moment. The soundtrack, featuring Presley's unique blend of country and rhythm and blues, topped the charts. The 1968 comeback special marked Presley's return to live performances after a hiatus. Director Steve Binder remarked, Elvis was ready to show the world he was still the king. And he was. Presley's 1973 Aloha from Hawaii concert was a historic event, reaching a global audience of 1.5 billion, a record at the time. Guitarist James Burton, who performed with Presley, stated Elvis was on fire that night. It was a magical concert. These breakthrough moments not only solidified Presley's status as a music icon, but also transformed the music industry, influencing generations of artists. Elvis Presley, born in 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi, grew up with gospel music, which greatly influenced his artistic vision. As a teenager, he moved to Memphis, Tennessee, where he was exposed to a variety of musical styles, including blues and country. This diversity of musical influences shaped his unique style, making him a pioneer of rock and roll. Presley's creative process was often spontaneous and improvisational. He would take a song and make it his own, adding his unique vocal style and energetic stage presence. 
His performances were known for their raw emotion and intensity, which captivated audiences and made him a cultural icon. Presley's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. His songs often dealt with themes of love, heartbreak, and longing, reflecting his own personal struggles and relationships. He also used his platform to promote civil rights and racial equality, using his influence to make a positive impact on the world. One of the most unique aspects of Presley's style was his ability to connect with his audience. He had a magnetic personality and a genuine warmth that drew people in. He was not just a performer, but a storyteller, using his music to convey emotions and experiences that resonated with his fans. In conclusion, Elvis Presley's artistic vision and process were shaped by a variety of musical influences, personal experiences, and a deep desire to connect with his audience. His unique style and approach to music have left a lasting impact on the world, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. Elvis Presley, known as the king of rock and roll, significantly contributed to the music industry. His unique style combined elements of blues, country, and gospel, creating a sound that was both fresh and captivating. According to Pete Chapman, a music historian, Elvis was a pioneer. He took different genres and blended them into something new which set the stage for the evolution of rock and roll. Presley's stage presence and charisma also had a profound impact. His energetic performances and sexually charged dance moves were groundbreaking, pushing boundaries in an era when such displays were considered taboo. As music critic and Powers puts it, Elvis's performances were electric. He brought a raw, uninhibited energy to the stage that was completely unprecedented. Moreover, Presley's influence extended beyond music. His movies, such as Jailhouse Rock and Viva Las Vegas, helped define the rock and roll film genre. His fashion sense, with his iconic blue suede shoes and sideburns, also set trends. Presley's impact is evident in the generations of artists he has inspired. Artists like The Beatles, Bob Dylan, and Bruce Springsteen have all cited Presley as an influence. John Lennon once said, Nothing really affected me until I heard Elvis. If there hadn't been an Elvis, there wouldn't have been a Beatles. In conclusion, Elvis Presley's contributions to the music industry and popular culture are immeasurable. His innovative style, captivating performances, and enduring influence continue to resonate today. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was known for his electrifying stage presence and revolutionary music. But his life extended beyond the spotlight revealing a man deeply committed to his personal values and interests. Born on January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis was raised in a close-knit family. His parents, Vernon and Gladys, played a significant role in shaping his values and work ethic. Elvis's love for music began in his childhood, when he would attend church with his family and sing gospel songs. This early exposure to music, particularly gospel, would significantly influence his professional career. Throughout his life, Elvis remained devoted to his family and friends. He often invited his parents and friends to join him on tour, and he never forgot his humble beginnings. His deep faith and strong moral compass were also essential to his personal life. He was a generous and compassionate person, often going out of his way to help those in need. Elvis's philanthropic efforts were numerous and varied. He was particularly passionate about supporting children's charities. In 1957, he purchased a mobile home and donated it to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. He also donated generously to the hospital throughout his life, and in 1961, he was named the hospital's first celebrity chairperson. In addition to supporting children's charities, Elvis was also committed to helping those in his local community. He often donated money and resources to local schools, churches, and other organizations. He was known for his generosity and willingness to help those in need, regardless of their background or circumstances. Elvis's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional work. His love for music, faith, and family were all reflected in his songs and performances. He often incorporated gospel and blues elements into his music and his stage presence was a reflection of his charismatic and energetic personality. In conclusion, Elvis Presley was not only a music icon, but also a man deeply committed to his personal values and interests. 
his philanthropic efforts, and generosity were a testament to his compassionate and caring nature. His personal life and values were an essential part of his professional work, and they continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, left an indelible mark on the music industry. His innovative fusion of rhythm and blues, country, and gospel created a new sound that captivated audiences and changed the course of popular music forever. Presley's legacy is evident in the countless artists who have been inspired by his music. From the Beatles to Bruce Springsteen, Elvis' influence can be heard in the work of countless musicians across generations. His charisma, stage presence, and undeniable talent continue to inspire aspiring performers today. As for the future, Presley's impact will undoubtedly endure. New artists will continue to discover his music and find inspiration in his innovative sound and captivating performances. And while he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through his music and the countless lives he touched. For those looking to follow in Elvis' footsteps, his advice is timeless stay true to yourself and your art. Don't be afraid to take risks and push boundaries. And most importantly, always give your all on stage and in the studio. In the words of Elvis himself, the only thing that can guarantee success is your own confidence and belief in yourself. So believe in yourself, work hard, and never give up on your dreams. The world needs more artists who are willing to take risks and create something truly unique and special. Elvis Presley, born in 1935, grew up with a deep passion for music. His love for gospel, country, and R&B led him to create a unique sound that would change the music industry forever. In the mid-1950s, this young man from Mississippi introduced the world to rock and roll. Presley's innovative style, combining various genres, captivated audiences, and broke down barriers. His performances were energetic and engaging, leaving a lasting impact on both musicians and fans alike. Even when faced with challenges and criticism, Elvis remained dedicated to his craft, demonstrating the power of perseverance. His groundbreaking work paved the way for future artists, allowing them to explore their creativity without fear of boundaries. Decades after his passing, Elvis Presley's music and legacy continue to resonate with new generations, proving the enduring influence of his artistry. In the entertainment industry, Elvis Presley's journey serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and determination. His ability to innovate and push boundaries has left an indelible mark on music, inspiring countless artists to step into the world of entertainment and leave their own unique imprint. Through his passion and perseverance, Elvis Presley has shown us all that creativity can truly transcend time and shape the world around us. As we delve into the work and legacy of Elvis Presley, it's clear that his music has left an enduring mark on the entertainment landscape. Born on January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis began his musical journey at a young age. His unique sound, a blend of country, gospel, and rhythm, and blues, quickly captured the hearts of millions. Throughout his career, Elvis released numerous hit songs, including Heartbreak Hotel, Jailhouse Rock, and Suspicious Minds. His dynamic performances and charismatic stage presence solidified his status as a true entertainment icon. Beyond his music, Elvis's impact can be seen in the world of fashion and film. His signature style, featuring slick back hair and flashy jumpsuits, continues to inspire new generations of artists and fans alike. Moreover, his acting roles in films like Blue Hawaii and Viva Las Vegas showcased his versatility as a performer. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on Elvis Presley's work and legacy in the comments below. What are your favorite Elvis songs or memories? How has his music influenced your life or the entertainment industry as a whole? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to honor Elvis Presley's lasting impact and the joy his music brings to us.